everyone, it's Lauren here popping in today to share with you a 12 by 12 layout using beautiful products from the Hip Kit Club. Now in true Lauren style, I always start out with this grand plan to make a nice, clean, simple layout, but of course ends up being really detailed and lots of things and lots of different techniques and yeah so settle in if you love cut files if you love a bit of mixed media if you love lots of layers well this is the project for you I I love everything about this kit it's bright and happy and I had this beautiful photo of my little girl on the day of her one of her ballet exams with her little friends and I couldn't help but make a super girly, super pretty 12 by 12 layout using this beautiful exclusive cut file from the Hip Kit Club. If you haven't heard of the Hip Kit Club, I've linked it below. I encourage you to go and check it out. It is a monthly kit subscription club that um, gives you lots of exclusive products as well as lots of uh hot off the press beautiful scrapbooking supplies so I encourage you to pop over and check that out so as you can see I have this butterfly cut file and what I'm doing here is thinking I'm going to be adding some mixed media behind that so firstly I wanted to prep my page and then I wanted to which I did with the Dina Wakely gesso there and that allowed me to put on some extra medium and the page still hold it what I wanted, what my medium to do is to sit on top of the page, not to soak through and warp and destroy the actual paper itself. This um, cardstock paper is not a mixed media, like not an art heavy base paper. Uh, so that's why we need to use a gesso on there to be able to help it hold our mixed media products. Part of the um, hip keep club subscription this month was that we got some free printables and these beautiful papers here which I just printed out on my Canon everyday printer nothing special about it I think it's the IP 1400 or something like that N definitely not nothing special about it I just printed those off and I'm going to use those papers to back my cut file. So as you can see, I've just flipped my paper over and my butterfly over and I'm using that to trace out the shape. And then I'm just fussy cut that shape out, giving a little, little bit of a border around the edge. And then I'm going to use some adhesive just to stick that down and Although this is very time consuming, the results are certainly worth it in the end where you'll get this lovely cut file that's got beautiful different pattern papers behind it and it really makes the, the butterfly unique to your layout and also uh, a, a bit of a standout feature, which is I think the cut files these days are just extraordinary and this butterfly joins that extraordinary family there. So as you can see I am simply just placing out those pieces. The butterfly I wanted the patterned papers to be replica on both sides of the butterfly. Uh, so as you can see I've done the top two and the bottom two there and then I'll coordinate that with um, the other pattern papers as you can see there. This is my adhesive that I'm just using here is Glossy Accents. It's I don't think it's actually designed for an adhesive, but I find it to be a really good one. Um, and I've just got a fine tip nib there, which is a, a fine tip by Ranger that are designed to um, sit on top of that Glossy Accents there. So you can do intricate work like that. I find that it clogs up a lot, even though in the lid of that little Ranger thing you can see it's um, sitting there is a fine pin to prevent that from happening but I think our weather here in Australia makes that very difficult and it dries very quickly so there you can see there's my beautiful butterfly all finished there the different pattern papers through it are evenly spread on each side of the butterfly and it looks really it looks really lovely I wanted to make my butterfly pop off the page and not be lost in the background of the pattern paper. So what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing some good old pigment ink. I think those ones are by, 
what do they call it? Let me just check. They are Stampin' Up stamps there and I'm just using a blending tool and I'm just going to outline the edge of the butterfly just by adding that little edge. Some people stitch, some people draw a thin line around it to make it pop off. This is another way to be able to get that same result by just using your blending tool and just around the edges slightly rubbing and that will just sort of emphasizes the edge of the cut file without too much effort at all. So as you can see, and it sort of softens it, it sort of makes it more delicate as well, particularly this cut file. So just doing the edges there and it's coming together nicely. In the kit this month, we also got some beautiful little gems and, well, it's a little um, packet of embellishments there, just little gems and some stars and I think the other one was some snowflakes. And of course, in true Lauren style, I decide to adhere them down and making it a little feature but I assure you just hold on I've cut the you'll see me demonstrate a few and then I cut the video so you don't have to watch me painfully stick these gorgeous little gems down uh, but here I am what you can see me doing is really trying to make this cut file a bit of a standout feature on my layout I really want it to pop off the page obviously not taking away from the photo which is the centerpiece of what I'm trying to you know what I'm trying to highlight but to sort of um, highlight the the loveliness of the whole moment which was seeing my little girl and her friends just having loads of fun before they're waltzing on into their ballet exam not a stress in the world and I just uh, it stands testament to their beautiful ballet teacher that these girls can just walk into their exam feeling confident with big smiles on their face and are having this really fun not stressful moment prior to heading on into something that's really important so there you have it they're those little gems on just an add a unique feature in true Lawrence style trying to keep things simple and here I go again. I thought, I really, really want this butterfly to be something special. So just grabbing everyday old tissue paper, I've concertinaed it up because what I am going to do is make a sort of a, just a small, small piece, not a, not a big piece, a ruffled edge all the way around the butterfly. So as you can see by adding all this dimension and these layers of paper and the beading, well, the, the little sticking the little gems on, adding the ruffle, what I'm, I'm achieving here with this gorgeous cut file is that it's going to really jump off the page and add that dimension in my layout. So just steadily working my way around, ruffling the tissue paper as it goes. It's amazing actually how much tissue paper you actually do go through with that ruffling technique. But the more ruffled it is, the better the effect on, um, the better the effect on the the overall effect um, on, on the wings there. Sorry, I just got a text message and I was slightly distracted there. <laughs> As we speak, my little girl is in her dance class and I just dropped her off there after a busy day at school. And as always, I pack her a little... Um, afternoon tea there so she had a passion fruit and a banana and just a little sayo biscuit with some vegemite and a nectarine and off she ran into dance and um and I just I can't believe I just watch her run in there and all that confidence I as a child I played a lot of sport I never danced or did anything sort of that was in the creative arts kind of field and each time she performs and does these things, it just blows me away, her confidence. So there you go. See how that ruffled effect has just sort of just changed that butterfly into something really special, which look at these gorgeous girls down the bottom. They're having a little bit of a silly time. So I really wanted both these photos on there, but then I I was really struggling, struggling, sorry, struggling with the positioning of the photos and and sort of what I wanted to see and how much of this butterfly I wanted to see and did both the photos take away from the photo? Well, I think I was way overthinking it. But as you'll see shortly, I end up just deciding on one photo, which I think 
in the long run really means that when you're looking at this layout, you are drawn to that one photo and it highlights that special moment. All these pretty little embellishments that I'm putting around there are the free part of the free printable pack that came with that paper. Once again, I just printed them out on my Canon printer and I just fussy cut them and that was done whilst watching basketball training, while waiting for ballet lessons to be over. I take my fussy cutting with me where I go, so it's not such a big thing when I want to actually create a layout with it to fussy cut them out. Obviously, sometimes you'll see me fussy cutting them out in the process video, but a lot of the time I try and always just have a little bowl or a little bag of fussy cutting that I can take with me or just leave in the lounge room when I'm watching a movie or spending time with the family in the lounge room. I'll just sit and fussy cut a few elements out. And before I know it, I've got a big bowl of loveliness there. So as you can see, I'm not being overly careful here. I am just putting glue on and sticking it down because I knew whatever would happen, um, all I needed it to do was just create that extra layer on there. So here I am adhering now the butterfly, but I do end up going in shortly, which you'll see with just some mixed media, some of the sprays that we got in the color kit this month, which was really stunning. These beautiful Prima color bloom sprays that came in the kit Um are fabulous and they have a really good spray and the colors are really the colors really pop um, and that will just add that extra little mixed media flair that you'll see me do there just to finish off this whole kind of bring together this layout so there you have it here I go shaking shake shake you always need to shake up your sprays and get that pigment really moving through the through the product. So when you do spritz, you get that nice even color that you're after. If you don't shake up, you'll just get that. Um, well, at times with some products, you'll just get a really clear liquid and that could be um, the desired effect that you're looking for. But if you really want that true color that's in the kit, I'm sorry, that's in the bottle, really give it a good shake um, and you'll get that pigment moving through that that um, little bottle which will give you that really true colour there. Some sprays and uh, that you can pick up really don't have great nozzles so I suggest instead of shaking because you might lose, like it might start getting a bit messy, just rolling it in your hands will still do that same job. So here you can see all that's done, that beautiful cut files come together and I've layered up just using some of the off cuts from the printables paper just my photo there I'm also ducking into some embellishments they're from the pink fresh studio and that's their new collection I think it's called everyday musings and it's it's absolutely stunning anything that pink fresh does it seems to be stunning um, and I'm just looking here for some embellishments and I'm thinking about some titles that aren't going to take away from this beautiful butterfly but also want to just sort of describe what we're doing here at the moment so here I am just playing thinking about some layers I grabbed that a cute little piece of ephemera which had that sort of notepad look along the top and I've just layered that in and under I'm using some of the cut file there that little celebrate cut file and a couple of the words and one of those cute little flowers there just to cluster that up and make that little a little feature on the side there but obviously trying not to take away too much from the photo and the girls in that um cute little photo there these gold puffy elements um are real they're amazing they're really metallic as you can see well you're having trouble seeing because I'm not <laughs> in screen but um I'm just wanted to dull that down and down a bit and I was watching one of Missy Whidden's um, amazing process videos and she used just a little bit of white gesso there so you've got sort of a matte finished gold as a super sparkly uh, vibrant gold which sort of just toned it down a bit so I've got um, I've got that beautiful word together I've just dulled it down with a bit of gesso by rubbing it over there and just sat that on the corner of that photo and it says together celebrate which I thought was really applicable for um the girls about to celebrate their exams once I would put that gold element on though I realized I think I need to add some other gold elements on the 
sorry, on the layout. And so I had a look in that beautiful pink fresh studio ephemera pack and there were these two, those two gorgeous leaf, intricate leaf, gold foiled elements there. Here's, you can see that's being, I'm very frustrated with that little nozzle. Um, and they, I just popped them on to add extra feature as part of the wings. Uh, you wouldn't even know that it's not part of the butterfly. Um, it just adds that extra little detail on there, but also pulls together a little bit more of that gold there. Now, here I am thinking, I just want something up in the other corner as well. And I'm sort of, you'll see me playing through the embellishments going, what's going on in my head? I'm really thinking, okay, how how am I going to tie this together? I've got really clustered up down in that bottom corner there. And I just want to sort of offset that in the top corner. So you'll see me in a moment just playing around with some more of those gold accents and those, some cute little puffy alphabet stickers and you'll see that little corner come together. I, I hope you like this layout. I know, I know you probably get really frustrated. So here I am trying to work out what am I going to do in that corner? It needs something. It can't be too much, but it definitely needs something. So I'm trying desperately to play and find something that's really, how cute is that? <laughs> um, really lovely um, to, to add there. But how are you guys going? Do you love using cut files on your projects? Uh, do you have a silhouette or a, uh, what's the other one? A cricket to be able to cut file, cut your cut files out. I do believe that there are some places around that do cut the cut files for you and sell them. There's a beautiful designer um, named Gwen here in Australia and she sell, she does that for as part of her business. Uh, the I'll, I'll try and link in the comments below. Um, it's called Cut To You and she delivers, um, I, I believe, worldwide. So if you're interested but not willing to take the plunge into purchasing a paper crafts cutting machine but really would like to have a little bit of play with some cut files, then um, check her out below because her designs are really lovely um, and you can contact her and she can help you out when needed um, to get some beautiful cut files in your stash. Um, I think cut files have certainly seen an evolution in scrapbooking and it's sort of a really an on-trend kind of thing at the moment and I think it's it's lovely to see these different phases of scrapbooking moving through um, and it really really gives us something to look forward to and I, I wonder I wonder what the next big thing's gonna be. Do you do you have any ideas about what the next big scrapbooking thing's gonna be or paper crafts in general? Wonder what is gonna be the thing that grabs grabs us there. So I finished off there with choose dance in those puffy stickers and there you have it. There's my beautiful layout of these gorgeous little ballerinas with a perfectly pretty butterfly. So take care, guys. Keep scrapping. Um, please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel and share this with your friends if you think they'd like it too. Okay, take care. Bye.